What's going on guys? It is I, Deltre. We are back with some more Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 and I expect that this part will be very, very short because we are going to start our charge into Bethel Garrison today and I have a counter team prepared for this one. Yep, full on C team. Alright, allow me to introduce you to the counter team. So we have my G. He's a wizard right now. I don't know if I want him th as this actually. <laughs> Member 1 and member 2 of the counter team, we have Dynamite and we have Shima, who is now a wizard once again. Dynamite going back to her si Dynamite going back to summon nerf for the time being as well. Everybody has arrow guard though, and that's the important thing. Everybody has arrow guard except for my G. He could not buy it, so that's why he's going to die. Void is, is basically doing everything that he's been doing, except he has time magic to try and hit the entire squad with that on the first turn. And then we have Steve in the bar with throw item fly. And generally high bulk all around. Okay, so I just stocked up on some crap because we have two battles in a row for this next section. You can go either to the north or the south wall of Beth the Garrison. It doesn't really matter like that. You don't have to do both of them. You just do one or the other and then it takes you to a predetermined second battle. I'm actually going to do the north wall. Because we have the counter team. <laughs> so everybody has arrow guards. So as you may imagine, there's going to be lots of archers on this map. But of course, they're not just archers. No, no. They are a souped up special class. The same one that Algus had way back when, in fact. No, not Onion Knight. Not Onion Knight. Get off my team, girl. Yeah, we want something like that. So there's going to be a bunch of souped up archers here. However, with arrow guard, it should be pretty easy to at least survive the first round. Which is all I'm really trying to do right here. If we do, it's going to be a pretty simple cleanup job, I want to say. Or at least, <laughs> at least I'm really hoping, man. I certainly am. The south wall is harder, I want to say. Potentially. I never thought the Hokuto would attack with the front. We'll get him all the way to dig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better men than you have tried, my friend. Yeah, the south wall is probably harder, though. At least in our case, because we have arrow guard on basically everybody. Now, in the original version of this ROM hack, I do know that you could steal a faith rod on the south wall, which is one of the best items in the game, really, because it boosts your faith to 100, basically. Which means that you're going to have super high accuracy with status effects, super high accuracy with, uh, you know, anything like that. And it would also increase your magical damage as well. So it was definitely worth going to the south wall just to steal that, even if it was a hard fight. But it's not in this version, so it's like, what are, what are we doing here? What are we trying to do? Are we trying to go to the south wall and get bodied for an hour? Or do we just want to use arrow guard? <laughs> Basically. And of course, it was very, very useful that we were able to get arrow guard on four of our guys through propositions alone. So that's definitely a pretty big thing in our favor here. That guy has short charge? Concentrate. Perseus bow. This is the strongest bow in the game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 20 power, Jesus Christ. So he can kill everybody, basically, because he does 260 damage. He just straight up does 260 damage, if my math is any good. Where's the item, guys? Because you just know. You just know. And he's a Libra. Damn it, Dylan. Okay, so he's actually neutral with dynamite, which is what I'm looking for. But you, on the other hand, also have item, and you are bad with dynamite, which is no good. That's just no good. That's going to hurt our damage a whole lot here. I'm just going to throw out a last song, honestly. Now, Steven has fly, which could be useful. I'm going to move away because we saw that one of those guys had talk skill. Uh, fly can be very useful, though, because I'm going to send both Shiva and Void up the wall immediately with absolutely no hesitation so yeah we're not gonna catch the haste but <sighs> he should still be okay to support these two it's kind of what I'm getting at he should be able to support them with throw item which could be useful if one of them accidentally gets dropped 31 percent good 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 420 damage by the way you want to you want to calm down with that or what man <laughs> that seems like an awful lot yeah, this first turn is a little bit sketchy because of that Demi, but nothing goes wrong as of yet, thankfully. I'm going to protect on Dynamite because that should, in theory, allow her to survive one more round. And we are going to move my G to the corner, basically. Or at least attempt to. Now, Dynamite has magic attack up and not short charge, so it could be a little bit tricky to get these off. Let's see who's moving first. We have Woody and Boyce. 
There's Woody. So no sense in getting him in on that. Okay, so two of them are going to move out of the way, but nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. If that were the case, then the best spot would be, like, right here. Because this is going to keep them away, basically. And we can move up here with Shima immediately, thanks to her huge jump stat. Well, not jump stat, but, uh, ignore hype, basically. And we can just draw it on these guys. She's a wizard right now, so that's giving her way more damage than she would have otherwise had. Look at that, 210 damage. 210 damage right there. Oh, crap, I just realized. I just realized I should have healed dynamite because she could die to a damage split holy hell I am bad I am bad I might have just wasted her haste no lie unless void can pop the other guy maybe he can actually no the damage split guy is gonna move out of the way so we don't actually need to worry about that now will he heal no he's not gonna heal at all he's gonna come right at me oh the fool oh the fool please miss <laughs> this is pretty good though yeah, that's pretty good. This guy should die to Leviathan. 100% guaranteed he should die. He has high faith. We have good compatibility with him, and we have magic attack up. There's no possible way he survives. Yeah, so I'm actually just going to move up and then not attack. I just won't attack. I I actually did want to block uh, Shima. I wanted to block for Shima because she does more damage here, theoretically. Although, if we're going to get a quick on Void, I can definitely take advantage of that. Thank you very much. What compatibility are you? Not particularly outstanding. Not particularly outstanding. Okay. Can I actually make it over to him? No, I cannot. Perhaps I should have moved over here instead. But, I, I mean, I can side shot this guy right now. Hold on. Let me do this so that Shima can still get a good draw. So I'll attack him from this side. Shima can still draw out, which is what we want, because that could be, theoretically, another kill after this Leviathan. Leviathan might do it by itself, honestly. It's pretty damn strong. Yeah, and we just, we heal back, we heal back Dynamite, because in the off chance she gets damage split, it'll keep her alive, basically. She's not going to be getting damage split here, but in an upcoming turn, it's certainly a possibility. So Dynamite should drop one of these guys, for sure, possibly two. If she drops two, that would be out of this world because then I can start going for draw outs. She gets just the one, just the one, but that's fine. We can still kill him as well by using Shima, who should be up here any moment. My G's actually not injured, so there was no reason to heal him here as well. Dylan, oh no, he's just gonna, damn it. Ha. Ah. No, he Phoenix Downs. Oh my god, is he, is he new? Because Shima's... She's definitely coming before this guy. Oh my god, that's a double kill, folks. That is a double kill, unless Reinhardt right here pops me with like a don't act or something. But Dynamite does have a Suna. So she can restore that. It would not be very good, though, because don't act does take away our reaction, meaning that all of these guys will have 100% accuracy on us at that point. Must be a Demi 2. Yeah, he's going for a kill shot. So Steven, Dynamite, and then Shima in that exact order. I feel like Steven should actually be moving up this way. Uh, when is the next last song? It's gonna be a minute. On the other hand, I can charge a Leviathan to Shima. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we want right there. So yeah, I'll do exactly that. We'll move in. I'll keep going with Last Song for right now. And I'll charge a Leviathan onto Shima. And then she will move in such a way. Will I? Because I think all of these guys are actually going to be moving. I'm actually just going to wait. But I will drop these guys again immediately. I think waiting is my best bet because that'll allow us to move very very quickly with dynamite for one because if I if I need to I can charge an attack on Steven at this point instead of Shima to get a little bit more rage if this hits void he's gonna miss his turn but he dodges like a boss so here we go it's his turn again I don't think I could drop that guy but I could force him to potentially choose between healing himself or healing 
one of his allies, or I can attack this guy right now. And potentially two-shot him, which I think should be the way. Yeah, because he has talk skill, which could be very, very bad for me. And this 100% puts him in range for like a Leviathan or really any kind of DPS attack. So let's just go ahead and do this. This is over 200 health. If Void gets his next turn, he'll be able to drop him on his own. If not, then we have a multitude of ways to do it. I didn't care if he got CT saved there either because he was so close to his turn regardless. If this hits, so be it, but it doesn't, thankfully. So Aragard kind of coming through here. It wouldn't have been too out of the question to be a, to uh, to have been hit at least one or two times, but that's not been the case, fortunately. He's gonna get up again, but he's already missed his turn. He has already missed his turn. Here comes the last song. Let's see it. Ourselves. So we got everybody down low, basically. So that's good. Ah, uh, that actually didn't work out in the order that I was hoping. Yeah, definitely not. It would have been preferable to have Dynamite come in first. Although that could be that could be a lot of damage if not a double kill. So that's something else to think about, I guess. It's looking real bad for these guys though, I'll say that. It's looking real bad. How did he Phoenix down from there? What? I'll actually just have Steven hang out. Because I can still do the whole charge of spell on him thing next round. And that should be just as well, honestly. Oh, Dylan and Reinhardt? Please don't be Dylan and Reinhardt. Dylan, Woody. I can kill Woody, I guess. But Dylan was the item guy. We're just gonna redrop this guy immediately. Not a whole lot else I can do on this round. I can, however, hit you with a holy. Which is exactly what we are going to do right now. So if I nail him with a holy, he may actually die to the subsequent draw out. Or so is my theory. Hopefully. I mean, it's it's a possibility. It's certainly a possibility. I don't think the Libra is bad with Scorpio, so this should do the 121 damage or whatever that I would need to do. He doesn't even get Dragon Spirit, so that's looking so good for me. This is hot, folks. This is it. Oh. Well, that was a misplay. Yeah, that was a misplay, without a doubt. I, sh I didn't realize that. I thought she could make it. Yeah, her movement is not the best right now. She doesn't have any movement ability besides ignore height, so she's rocking base movement right here. That is a double kill, though, so... Ah, yeah, the Shiva was wasted. I should have charged it on the the other item guy, then in that case. But since we had good compatibility with this guy, we drop him right here. Good night. And now it's looking really, really grim. <laughs> it's 2v5. God, Aerogard just turns this fight into a joke, man. It really does. We had basically the perfect counter team. We had basically the perfect counter team, man. All this arrow guard, and we had Asuna if they wanted to hit us with like threatens or sleeps or anything like that, because they did have somebody with talk skill. I think it was this guy, in fact. Man, arrow guard has been very kind to us, I will admit. That guy has piss poor faith. <laughs> well, I still need damage on him regardless. We'll just hang out with Steven right there. I can even throw a high ether to Dynamite on the next go if need be. Uh, we only quick ourselves, so I think I'll do that right now, in fact. I don't see why not. Yeah, because she's starting to get a little bit low. I did make sure that she would have enough for this Leviathan, but we want to make sure that she can keep this up for as long as possible. I suppose an angel song would have been just as good, but nah, we'll just do it like this. Doesn't make a huge difference, honestly. And honestly, we're in such a good spot that I can start throwing out re-raises and the like, just in case something goes severely left. I'm not, I really don't think it can at this point. I think this is a done deal. I really do. But uh, that's the power of preparation, I suppose. Just arrow guard, man. Because you can see why this map would suck without that, right? <laughs> I don't think that needs to be said necessarily. And we're, like I said, we're not done necessarily. 
They could certainly. They can. They're not. They're not out of this. Let me put it that way. But they would need to start making some serious plays and have some serious luck on their side as well. I'm talking all the status hits. I'm talking we miss every possible attack, which, to be fair, isn't a whole lot of attacks here. I think Leviathan is the only one they could miss, theoretically. So it, it, it would take a massive amount of luck for this to go south at this point. We just got to watch the item guys though. So that would be you. And this guy will never get his turn because Shima. Okay, so if that's the case, we... Nope. Whoa, do not auto battle. What are you doing, Void? No, we want you to stand here and we're going to take a front shot so that that way I can go for two hits here with Shima. I can hit both this item guy and I can also redrop the guy who just got revived. Unless this guy moves in such a way to block that move, at which point I will just redrop the guy who was recently revived. It's the best possible way. Yeah, so I move right here, and this is another two-piece. Just narrowly avoiding Void there, but hey, we take those. This should kill both of them. Yup. Good. Wizards just have stupidly high magic, man. And not even able to connect his final chance there. That was basically it. That was basically the last possible chance. Steven coming up, Steven coming up. Hey, my dude. Can't make it that far, though. Yeah, he can't make it far enough. Ah, oh, man. So these two might be just about done. This guy is staying very, very far out of my range. I do not believe for a second. Yeah, no, I can't hit him. Didn't think so. So we'll just chill. We'll chill right there. And my G somehow actually managed to not die here. How did he do that? This guy's a beast. It's an arrow guard. <laughs> Who needs that shit? Who needs arrow guard? Not me. That's why they call him my G. <laughs> we'll just switch to Angel Song just to keep our MP back to maximum. Mainly my G. He has none to play around with here. None at all. I can get behind this guy. Cool. Let's do it. Thank you. And now I can just smack him down, basically. Oh, this guy must have some kind of mantle or something because he's a little bit dodgy, but... That's not going to be enough to save him, no way. And by the way, can we just talk about how much health these guys have? Jesus Christ, 450 each? It's like fighting six mini-bosses. I guess they figured since Aeroguard literally just breaks this map in half, that the enemies that were going to be there should at the very least be dangerous. An 81% stop, you say. And this is what I'm talking about. We're not done just yet. Definitely not. Ooh, if that lands, especially on both of them both my G and Dynamite going down at once, that could be very bad. As long as we don't let them get a bunch of revives, though, I think we should be able to keep ourselves afloat regardless of whether or not this actually connects. I would obviously prefer not to. He charged it on my G, right? Because I'd be willing to sack him. Yeah, he did charge it on my G. If it hits, so be it. If not, have this holy... Yeah, that's about where we're at. 81% <laughs> though, that's a very likely shot. Oh, we dodged, sweet. My G, the beast. So now we can take this guy out with a Leviathan, I wanna say, that should do him in. Yeah, it does, in combination with that holy. So he's done. And we're gonna switch back to Life Song at this point, or Last Song, rather. Just to potentially help us corner this last item guy that much easier. I'm just gonna have, yeah, we'll just heal yourself. Heal yourself, Shiva. So that way she cannot die to one single attack. My G the beast. I mean, obviously I could have used her for this chip damage though as well. So it's not as if this guy suddenly survived just because my G dodged, which is the big part. And it also helps that we're killing him with one strong hit because he has that meat bone slash ability and that deals damage equal to your maximum HP the second you drop into critical health. Which would be enough to kill anybody on my team. And it also does not care about uh, Arrow Guard. And on top of that, it also has the exact same range as his bow. And because he's on such high ground, that means he could trigger me bow slash from just about everywhere. So, taking him out in one solid hit like this is definitely the preferred method. As opposed to dropping him into crit first. 
Otherwise, you risk a death. But with this last song potentially hitting somebody like Void, uh, my G and Dynamite. Not the best, not the best. We can get in over here, though. If I can charge it on this guy, I will, but if not, he can just move, I'm sure. Alright, so yeah, we can get this guy out of here. We can get him out of here. Not too hard of a fight if you're prepared. Yeah, I really don't think that was too bad. This could hit, but it wouldn't matter. And there's the final. Finally, Arrow Guard lets me down. But, I mean, at this point, let's be honest. It's way too late. It's way too late. Dodge all you want, kid. You're just delaying the inevitable. Oh, that was the heroic gloves in effect, by the way. You saw how the camera went over to that guy like it was about to turn him into a crystal? That was the heroic gloves taking effect. You can't turn into a crystal or a treasure if you had those items equipped. And, uh, I'm pretty sure... Well, no, I don't think it's all of them, but at least that guy definitely did. And the other thing about these guys is that I'm pretty sure that, much like Algus, they have boss immunity, so it's like, you can't really use status effects on them to good effect. It doesn't do anything, for the most part. I think we could do oil. I think we just saw that that was a viable option, but... Void, just kill him, please, because he's just going to power source. <laughs> he's just going to power source. And we get to start this whole train all over again. But there's not a possible way to lose, so like... Oh, finally he just gives up, I guess. Yeah, he had a turn there. He could have definitely healed himself, but I guess he said, Ah, screw it, what's the point of living? That's what I thought, kid. Get out of here. So we blow him away with Holy. And overall, not too bad of a map. Certainly helps a lot that I had Arrow Guard on just about everybody, though. We have to do something before the armies collide. But, what that something is, we'll have to wait and see. Now, before we get our rewards, though, you already know. 19k. A power source, 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 and a power source. One for every the enemy used in this map. <laughs> Not even, man. There were so many power sources. So many. You know, maybe the south wall has a good battle victory reward. Or whatever. Because, like, that wasn't too impressive, honestly. I don't know if I'm using the one guy who can actually use power sources. It's not something that just every chemist can use in this game. Only one specific character can do it. What happened here? I don't remember what Zelbeck sounds like. <laughs> I hope it was something like that. Are you okay? Pull yourself together. I I'm fine. My head just hurts. Bleh. Hey, get a grip. I oh, wait, that was more of Dyson Arts, wasn't it? Moss fungus poison has been spread in the air. Yeah, something like that. Brother! Don't worry, I'm alright. Where is His Excellency? We don't know. Here, Zalbag. Dice the dog. Something went on here, though. These guys are messed up. Oh, right, because Balk said, yeah, of course. He said he spread the poison. I mean, I knew that. I just... I forgot the game already said it. Leave me alone, man. Don't judge me. Your Excellency! Call the chemist! How do you feel? My head hurts. I feel sick. But I'll be alright. I'll feel better in a while. That's a problem. What? Oh, uh, what, what is this? Brother. And as it turns out, quiet, Zalbag. Dysodarg is a douche. You betraying me. You killed Balbanes not only to inherit the Bay Elva State but to kill me. Ugh. Brother, no. Did you poison? Not me. It was done by the Allies who want Beowulf to take center stage. Why have they? Duke Log died in battle, but will carry on his will. But the plot... The plot no longer makes sense, Dysodar. What are you saying? Just put a dagger into one of their hands. He's the assassin sent by the non-ten, all right? Brother. That's right, Dysodarg's ambitions know no end. Not only has he killed Prince Larg. Did I say, did I say Dysodarg or Larg? Dysodarg's ambitions know no end. Killed Prince Larg, but not only that, but Larg has now 
In his final moments, accused him of killing Balbane's father, Suzel Bag, Dyson Dog, and Ramza himself. So, uh, not the nicest person in the world, to say the least, but more of that next time. So, for now, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little romp. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. North Wall, just not that hard, man. Anyways, like if you did. Catch you guys on the next one. See you then. Peace.